Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia, my channel is at Fit for Fia, and today we're going over gun cleaning, specifically using the brand Slip 2000. They are a non-toxic and non-hazardous brand. Uh, I've been looking for one like that for a while because I'm very health conscious, so I'm really excited to share it with you all and go through the process with you all. It's not really something that is uh, intuitive, uh, taking apart a gun and cleaning it was one of the most probably stressful things to learn for me because there's just so much information out there. So if you decide to use this video today, know that if you deviate from what I do, that's okay. If you look at another video and you decide you want to add or subtract a step, go for it. Today I'm working with my Glock 19. So what I'm going to do is remove the mag, set it away from me, actually preferably in another room, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to set it down. I'm going to then clear the slide and check that there is not a round in the chamber. If there were to be a round, I would remove it, and if I had any rounds with me, I would definitely take the time to stop this video and remove it from the room I'm in, just for safety. Now I'm going to disassemble my weapon so that I can clean it. I'm going to pull these levers down together, I'm going to brace it against something like the table, and I'm going to give it a really strong push back against the table. So I'm going to really push that back and then release once the slide is back. I'm then going to pull the trigger and pull the slide through. Now that I have the frame separated from the slide, I'm going to remove the spring and then the barrel. So today I'm going to start with cleaning the frame. I'm going to take this brush from this very simple cleaning kit I got from Amazon. I will link it in the notes below the title. And I'm just gonna brush the frame away to release any of the carbon that is stuck to the frame. Next, I'm going to use the Slip 2007 to 5 gun cleaner and degreaser. This is a water-based, non-toxic, non-hazardous solution. I'm gonna spray onto this brush. And then again, I'm gonna brush down the frame. Next, I'm going to take this wipe. I got this from a local gun store. I don't actually recommend this brand because it leaves behind a lot of residue compared to other brands I've used. So I will link what I do recommend in the notes and I'm just gonna wipe that down. Next, I'm gonna take this gun lube by Slip 2000 and apply it to the areas on the frame that make a lot of contact with the slide and especially these metal parts. Once I've done this, I'm gonna let it sit off to the side. Next, we're gonna move on to the barrel. So I'm actually gonna take that same brush and I'm going to brush the feed ramp. I do both sides. I'm then going to take a wipe and spray it with some cleaner to clean the exterior of the barrel. I also have these Q-tips that get into a little bit more of the areas I'd like them to. Before you all come at me, they do not leave behind residue, so don't worry about that. I get a lot of comments um, with assumptions on my page, so I just want to clear that up as much as possible. I'm just getting into those little harder to reach areas. Next, I'm going to take this bore brush and this uh, stick, I guess, that it comes with, and I'm just going to screw these together. This is actually from Glock itself. It came with the gun, so that's really nice. I like to spray it just a tiny bit because otherwise it kind of doesn't feed through the barrel as easily. And then I'm just gonna send this through. It is a little bit rough to do, but it's okay. It takes a little bit more force, but that's totally fine. I'm gonna do that on both sides just for safe measure. And it's looking really good in here, a lot better than I did before. The next thing I want to do is take a wipe and I'm actually going to cut it in half. I've had better luck with these just when they're cut in half. I'm then going to spray it with a little bit of cleaner. I'm going to take off the bristle part of this and stick this cloth through this little hole in the stick. I feel like there's a better word for this, but we're using stick. Then I'm going to feed this through the barrel just a few times, not too much. Like I said, it leaves that residue I really don't like. So that's all I'm gonna do. Next, I'm gonna take some of the gun lube. I'm gonna put it onto a wipe. And then I'm going to wipe down the exterior of the barrel. 
Next, I'm gonna take the slide and I'm going to go in with the brush. I'm gonna wipe off any carbon residue and there's quite a bit on this. There's a smaller side to this brush that I really like, so I can use that on some of the areas that the larger brush doesn't really let me get into. Next, I'm gonna add the same Slip 2000 Gun Lube to the slide by dropping it at the top of the slide and letting it kind of just drip down the slide with gravity. I'm also going to drop a few drops on the metal parts that come into contact with the gun a bit more than the other parts. I'm gonna set that off to the side. My optic is kind of leaning it so that the lubricant is dripping down that very nicely. One product I really wanna highlight are these gun wipes by Slip2000. If you are on the go, you don't wanna take a lot of time. These wipes are incredible for cleaning your weapon. All you need is this wipe, and if you wanna add a little extra lube, you can just get this pair. It's very nice for when you're on the run, at the range, or just don't wanna take that much time to clean your guns. Now that I've cleaned everything, I am going to reassemble my weapon. I like to leave a few paper towels off to the side to kind of wipe my hands down. It gets really luby and hard to kind of work when your hands are like that. I'm gonna start by taking the barrel and putting it back into place and then taking the spring and also putting it back into place. I'm going to compress the spring into place and I know it's in place when the spring is parallel with the slide. Now that I have the slide and the frame left, I'm going to slide these parts together. They should go together like a puzzle piece and then I'm going to rack it back all the way and release. It should be good to go if I pull the trigger and the slide stays put. Next, I'm going to rack the slide a bit to get the lubricant to set in. It sounds really nice, and then I'm going to do a few dry fires to make sure everything is firing correctly. Now that my gun is clean, I'm good to go. I could take a paper towel and wipe down some of the extra lube. Otherwise, I'm going to just let it be. Um, I overall love these Slip 2000 products. Again, I love them because they're non-toxic and non-hazardous. If you all would like to purchase some of these products, you can go to the link I will post in the notes of this video and use code FITFORFIA for 30% off of your order. Thank you all for watching today. I hope this helped you out. Note that there is a lot of variation when it comes to cleaning weapons and what people prefer to do. So just know that whatever works for you and your weapons and is safe works for you and that's okay. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't be afraid to go over to my Instagram to look at other posts. I tend to post on there a bit more frequently. And then of course I also have TikTok. All of that is linked in my link tree in the notes as well. Thanks for watching. See you later.